Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic and our Human Warrior playthrough. We did train level 14 off recording, and I worked on some blacksmithing as well, so that's where we're at for blacksmithing. And I was able to make a couple of things. I was able to make this axe so we can level up our one-handed axe. We, I found some Stormwind leg guards in my inventory. Not sure if we crafted them. I think they might have just been hanging out there. Crafted the runed copper belt and the runed copper gauntlets. And yeah, I think that is it. We are going to head south here today. We need to head back over here to find the ruinous polyspore in the unaffected part of Blood Mist. Then we'll be looking for crystallized bark. We have blood elves to take on north of the watch. And yeah, lots of things to do here in Blood Mist still. Hope you guys are doing well today. Thank you for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we got Demoralizing Shout and we got Revenge as well. I did set up my defensive stance bar. So that's good. Eventually here we'll start hitting this guy. We could stand to make some more linen bandages. I probably could have got this leveled up and trained heavy linen at the Exodar if I had thought about it. have to make a note to do that. Should be good for now. And yeah, I used basically all of our copper, so we are not by any means getting too much copper. Uh, I don't think there's such a thing. We need to start finding tin soon because we have learned how to smelt bronze and tin, as well as silver. So I'm hoping to see some tin pop up eventually here. Uh, we don't really need to be down here except to get that ore. Let's head more to the northeast. Alright, two enemies at a time. Not really keen on that with how low our weapon skill is right now. If I could get a rend off, that would be nice. There we go. If we have to, we'll pop a potion, but I actually think the skill is getting high enough here that we're going to be okay. Looks like we have the item we need right here. And that's it. We can go ahead and cross back over the river. Start looking for the crystallized bark and, and stuff. Uh, I don't know how common these guys are going to be over here to the east. I feel like they're more common out to the west. But we will have a look around and see if we can find any of the triads. Oh. 
I saw one somewhere. There he is. I know it's weird to think that a tree would blend into the forest, but it happened. to you. Let's turn in the mushrooms. And we'll take the bracers. Be well. Plus one stamina. I still don't see the quest available from this guy who's pathing up and down the road. Maybe another level will get us the quest. Got a few things to turn in over here. Yeah, let's, let's go over here. We have a level 14 quest. Kind of try to tackle these in level order. And of course, we'll grab any treants along the way that we find. Let's come up here and grab the copper. Ruins of Lorath Aran. Well, seeing as how there are Naga around, I'm assuming this is going to be a corpse that we find. Uh, you know, we can actually... Shield Bash. Yikes. Hi there. Let's go ahead and bandage in case anybody else decides to jump us while we read the quest. I see one likely culprit over here to our left. The bodies of the Draenei survey team are scattered all over the ground here, pierced by Naga weaponry. The area is littered with the remains of their supplies and survey equipment, but their data crystals are nowhere to be seen. It's too late to assist the cartographers in completing their mission, but it appears they are collecting the data Harbinger Mikolas was expecting. The crystal storing the survey information was not among their ransack pack, so it must be in the hands of the Wraithscale Naga. You know that Harbinger Mikolas will be saddened by the loss of the survey crew, but would want to salvage the survey data. Okay, so it's going to be a random drop off of any of the Naga here. Which is fine with me. Thank you. 
But we should probably think about healing up really quick here. This guy is kind of headed right for us. Let's duck over here behind the wall. We'll get the heal off and then we'll take him on. I like when the sorceresses forget that they can cast. That's probably my favorite encounter. When they just stand there trying to slap at us. Like, they're, they're not quite sure what's going on. They had no, no spells prepared for that day. There we go, there's the survey data crystal. So yeah, we're just headed back now. I really love that the Barnacle Clans stack now. It's absolutely amazing. Not seeing any more treants over here in the distance. Let's get this one turned in and then maybe we can start heading out to the west.
The Naru have not forgotten us. You tell Harbinger Mikolas of the survey team's fate. He accepts the crystal from you, but remains silent for a long moment. We've lost too many good men already, and our mission has only just begun. Now that we have the baseline crystal, we're going to need samples from more dangerous areas of the island to complete the set I'll be sending to the Exeter. The next sample must come from the crystals controlled by the Blood Elves in the Bla Bladewood area to the northwest of Blood Watch. I have heard reports that they alter the harvest of crystals for use in some magical apparatus. See if you could find one that has not yet been incorporated into one of their devices and mine a sample from it. Remain vigilant. Okay. So that is going to be probably over where the kill quest is at. Altered altered crystal sample. So there must be just be one item that we're looking for. Let's head that way. Again, keeping our eyes open for any treants we see. Grab the copper note up here. And then we will finish the kill quest. If we go further to the west here, we need thorny constrictor vines. We need the elder brown bear flanks. But let's finish up with the spies here first. Uh, and maybe we even then go turn these in and see if they chain into anything else. That is level 15, which is awesome. We could go into Unbridled Wrath. Gives you a chance to generate an additional rage point when you deal melee damage with a weapon. Seems really good. Uh, increasing our attack power also sounds good per armor, but maybe later when we have more armor. I don't know. Let's go into Unbridled Wrath for the time being.
All right, the Blood Elf quest is done. Let's go turn these in. Haven't seen any Trents. Doesn't look like there's a rear entrance here to the town. At least not up that hill. It also look, looks like quite a few more quests might have opened up when we hit level 15. The Naru have not forgotten us. Oh, look at this. He could teach us heavy linen bandage. That's amazing. Glad we found him. Remember the lessons of the past. Newfound ally, allies, Harbinger Mikolas has done a commendable job of safeguarding Blood Watch Warrior, but our enemies are many and our resources are few. Our weakness is well known to our enemies, but your contact with the forces of the Alliance is something they haven't accounted for. I've prepared a letter of introduction to the people of Aberdeen, the closest Alliance settlement, proposing cooperation in the fight against our foes. Kind to those so there's our Darkshore breadcrumb whenever we want to do that. We still have so much to do here, though, and it's, like, right at the perfect level. The Legion will fall. You've returned, and in one piece. I have some good news. We've received some new information about the possible location of more survivors. A new crash site has been discovered. When I'm done attending to these matters, I will call for you. Uh, we could take a one-handed sword might be a good idea. What is our one-handed sword skill looking like? 64 out of 75. Axes is basically maxed out. Uh, maybe we take... Oh, we already have a crossbow with one agility, one stamina. Let's take the mace for now. Intercepting the message, it's good to see you again. I have a quandary that you might be able to solve. Our agents situated behind Sunhawk lines have reported seeing Sunhawk soldiers parsing an unusual document. Unfortunately, we have been unsuccessful in acquiring a copy of the document for ourselves. I need you to go out into the field and try to recover the document. I am certain that if you apply enough pressure, a Sunhawk agent will turn over the information we seek. Uh, by apply enough pressure, do you mean, like, kill enough of them? Because I'm, I'm familiar with that method. Arcanon Poros. Ysera's Tears. Good to see you again. You were exceptionally efficient in completing the last task I offered you. Perhaps you would be interested in another. To the northeast lies Worm Scar Island, home of a rare species of mushroom known as Ysera's Tear named after the green dragonlings that inhabit the island. I only require a small sampling of the mushroom, but I must warn you that the denizens of the island do not welcome visitors. Tread carefully. Alright, so we're going to a dragon isle. Interesting. Here's the guy pathing around. Urgent delivery. It's about time. I just about given up on finding you. There's an urgent message waiting for you at your mailbox. The person that gave it to me was a human admiral from Ajramist. Admiral Odyssey something. The name escapes me. He said you would know who he was. Be well. Okay. Cool. The Naru have not Searching for Galen. Do you often think of your family? There were a number of families aboard the Exodar, but I've heard very few being reunited. I myself am looking for traces of my husband Galen, who was a technician in the Cryo Corps. The wreckage of it's located to the west, and it's swarming with blood elves. I must find out what became of Galen, even if news of his death is better than never knowing. My husband will be wearing a pendant identical to my own. They were a gift from my sister. Be kind to those less fortunate. Yeah, he's dead. He's definitely dead. This quest here, we still can't pick up all that remains. I, I have to assume that this must have been something that would have depended on a reputation that we don't have, or maybe a breadcrumb that is a human we didn't get. I mean, we're almost honored with the Exodar. So it's probably not a rep thing. Kronakai Christor. 
This chart is much different from the initial sample. Do you see how it pulsates like that? That's worrisome. I'll make a note of it in my report of the alterations the Blood Elves appear to have made to this crystal. Thank you again for your help. The final sample. There's just one sample remaining before I can send this set of crystals to the Exodar. The final sample must come from a Seder stronghold of Exarion to the northwest. I'm not certain what to expect from this crystal sample, but I'm sure there will be some signs of corruption. Take care to mine your shard from the crystal that looks like the ones you took previous samples from. Blessings upon your family. So they're telling you it looks like the other ones looked. Yeah. Okay, so what do we want to do here? If we head this way, we can go back and fight for the Sunhawk Missive. We can get bears and constrictors. This stuff is a little bit too high of a level. Uh, the stuff up here, kind of the same thing. Let's focus on the stuff that's kind of right around the town. That seems like our best bet for the time being. We've also hit level 15, so probably at least a couple dead mines runs incoming. Maybe not today, but soon. Soon ish. Well, there was the missive that did not take very long at all. Let's go back out in search of some more crystallized bark. That seems to be the hardest thing for us to find right now. Because not only are there not a lot of them, they also don't have a 100% drop rate, so... Have to get lucky enough to find one first, and then lucky again that it actually drops the item that we need. Um, I don't know if heading south is necessarily a great idea. I don't see any of them down there. We probably need to get into the area more with the lashers and the bears that we can get for the quest. I thought we would get a quest for these royal blue flutterers. I remember something, but uh, we don't have one right now. But yeah, over this way we can fight bears and constrictors, so maybe we start working on that.
these guys don't really want to drop their items either. We have three quests for items, and uh, really seems like all these items are a low drop rate. We're going to be fighting guys here for a while, which don't really mind. At the same time, they are kind of spread out. And I also know that in some way or some way, there is a quest for those blue moths that we're seeing. And I don't know, maybe the crystallized bark turns in and then becomes that quest. That could be it. It's possible I need to focus more on getting the crystallized bark done. Before really moving into this area. Hmm... This person is in trouble, and I don't think... Yeah, I'm gonna say, I don't think I can save them. They might have been able to run over to this group. They might have saved him. I'm going to focus on finding the crystallized bark that we need before we focus too much on doing anything else. I just want to make sure it doesn't chain into anything uh, that we could be doing at the same time as the rest of these. So we need one more of those. How many treants will we have to find to get them to drop one more? I don't know. But we're nearly there. Looks like somebody's been through this area. There's a dead treant here. We'll swing down this way. Hmm. 
Human Paladin. Decked out in heirlooms. We're just not having a lot of luck with their spawns. Spawning lots of other stuff. Hmm. We might have to head down here, I guess. Into a slightly different area to find them. I really would like to be done with this one. Here's one here. We can we can hope for a drop. No such luck. Ah, oh, we just lost that one to somebody too. Oh, that's brutal. Absolutely brutal. I need to get over here to this other one before they get before he gets tagged. Yeah, I, I need to I need to do this. We did drop the bear, which is quite alright with me. There we go. They both had the item. How cool is that? Let's head back, and then we will turn this in. We'll see if it chains into anything. Blessings upon you. There's more than enough here for my research, thank you. If you find any other evidence that the crystals are corrupting blood mist native creatures, let me know right away. Safe journey. Uh, did something over here have a quest? No. Weird. Arcanon Poros. Our chief interrogator, Elysia, is fluent in Thalassian. Take the document to her and see what she has to Remember say. Remember the lessons of the past. The Legion will fall. Elysia reads from the document. If what this document says is true, the Blood Elves have opened a portal to the Outland. It would certainly explain their seemingly endless numbers. I need you to deliver the translated documents to Velen personally. I don't trust that deranged messenger. Explain the, to the Prophet that the Blood Elves are receiving reinforcements from the Outland, and that they have a spy amongst the Draenei at the Exodar. 
Velen resides in the Vault of Lights inside the Exodar. Make haste. Favor the road traveled by uh, yeah, that, that seems like something that's kind of important. Let's, let's go do that. That might be like part of the main chain of the zone. Well, we could do it now. Wouldn't it be smarter though just to wait until we're level 16? We have plenty of stuff to do here anyway. We could go wrap up, uh... We could wrap up Constrictor Vines and the Bear Flanks. That'll... All the killing and the quest experience from that will probably get us level 16. And we could go train and talk to Velen at that time. I think that is going to be the plan for next time, guys. I am going to take a bit of a break here. Thank you all for joining me today. I really do appreciate the support on this series. Having a ton of fun on the Warrior, as always. Hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough as well. Let me know what you do think. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.